scene in New Jersey. A home investigators say was filled with weapons and chemicals for bomb-making devices. Under arrest tonight, a doctor living in that home in Ridgewood. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Kozar is at the scene. Matt? Sandra, why was a 60-year-old doctor stockpiling weapons and dangerous chemicals in suburban New Jersey? Tonight, he's facing serious charges, and his neighbors want to know what was happening inside his home. The FBI, Hazmat and Bomb Squad converged on this Victorian house in Ridgewood. It's where prosecutors say 60-year-old Dr. Roberto Rivera was stockpiling weapons and a large amount of a volatile chemical used in bomb making, although investigators haven't specified which chemical. Basically, they said I was in no danger. Daryl Kubian has lived here for three years and took these pictures of the investigation happening across the street. If it's everything they said, I'm really shocked because this is a very, very quiet neighborhood, very quiet town. And so I'm not sure exactly what he was thinking. Police say they responded to this multifamily home Friday night after getting a report that hazardous material was in one of the apartments. It's not clear who called them. Once inside, FBI agents and bomb squad members found chemicals used to make explosive devices, as well as a number of assault weapons and firearms. Rivera is facing a number of charges, including unlawful possession of a destructive device, a stun gun, an assault firearm, and a large capacity ammunition magazine. He also faces several charges of, quote, recklessly creating a risk of widespread injury or damage. Never, nothing certainly like this has happened along our street and to know that it was just a few houses down was kind of shocking. Rivera has a license to practice medicine in New York, but prosecutors say he is unemployed. His bail was set at a million dollars. Live in Ridgewood, New Jersey, Matt Kozar, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you. We have a developing story out of the